morning guys. Right now I am pre-makeup, pre-cleansing, pre-getting ready for life because I wanted to do a video review of Bliss's Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, this is available at Ulta and Sephora. It's $54. I wanted to do a video review because this is a really cool mask the way it um, actually works once you apply it to your skin and I kind of wanted to do a video of it. I had a really hard time capturing it on photo. So the description is it's engineered as a stand-in for our spa's world famous facial, releases oxygen molecules and detoxifiers, a super quick fix for dull tired skin. Basically you just massage this onto damp skin, um, wait about five minutes for a full froth to form on your face and then you rinse it off follow with toner and moisturizer uh, bliss says not to use this more than three times a week so far that's what I've stuck with um, I've just worked it into my um, evening or morning routine um, every two or three days so I'm gonna go cleanse my face and I'll come back with it slightly damp and kind of show you how cool this mask is okay so I just cleansed my face my skin is pretty wet I'm gonna dab it just a little bit my child's gonna talk in the background, but we only got one shot at this because I don't want to apply this mask 50 times. Um, I found that when my skin is like dripping wet, the foam isn't as intense, and I like an intense foam. So I probably apply a couple pumps, like four or five pumps, right there. It smells really nice, really citrusy. So I massage it in. You can already see it kind of foaming up. The oxygen in it is a fluid O2, which is a really great delivery system for the vitamin C that's in the mask. Uh, the fluid O2 also really uh, does a great job of killing the bacteria that causes breakouts. So, you can see foamy action going on. Uh, it's a gel to foam. And it's got that vitamin C. It's got uh, a bunch of other antioxidants. Uh, really great for brightening the skin. Uh, detoxifying, kind of hydrating. If you've ever wondered what vitamin C does for the skin, it's a, it's a really effective antioxidant. So it kind of detoxifies and clears your system, but it's also really great, well, the system of your skin. It doesn't really do anything internally, but um, it's also uh, probably my number one ingredient that I'd recommend if you're trying to minimize the look of dark spots and even out skin tone. It's starting to go down just a little bit. My favorite way to use this mask is um, not to rinse it off about now, which is probably five minutes in, but um, I wait for all of the bubbles to kind of pop. You can kind of hear probably. Oop, very foamy. I've been trying a lot of new products lately to try and cut down on um, hormonal breakouts and uh, breakouts that I've been having due to weather changes. Out here in Washington, it can't decide if it's winter or spring yet. So we'll have a really, really warm, really warm day. And then the next day, it's pouring rain. It's super freezing. And we have to turn our heaters back on. So my skin has been having a field day because of that. All right. So I'm going to go rinse and come back and kind of show you the end results. Okay. So freshly rinsed skin. Just a little bit damp. I haven't put on any moisturizer or anything yet. Um... I'm not sure if you can see the difference on camera, but for me, um, I have a lot of redness naturally like right in here, and this mask kind of knocks that out. doesn't do a whole lot for breakout redness, but um, just uneven skin tone is a little bit more balanced, uh, which I really, really like. I have noticed a long-term uh, result that current dark spots and hyperpigmentation haven't been lessened too impressively. But um, I have noticed that when I do get a new blemish, it is much less likely to cause hyperpigmentation or a little dark spot to appear, which makes me very happy. Uh, my skin, I'm really, really fair and very prone to getting dark spots and hyperpigmentation marks. But um, yeah, so overall, I'm really happy with this mask. It is a little bit pricier at $54. Uh, I would say pick it up when Ulta's doing their 20% off coupon or if there's um, a coupon like a similar deal going on at Sephora. Um, I do think that if you can get it a little bit cheaper it's definitely worth at least trying. 
Um, if you have a really big problem with uneven skin tone and dark spots, for sure pick it up regardless of the price. Um, it's a pretty big size and even though I use four or five pumps, I've been using it for about three weeks now and it still feels very heavy, very full. Um, I think it's definitely worth the money if that's your particular issue. If you're just looking for a nice mask, you can definitely find something more affordable that'll give you good results. But as far as targeting my issue, which was uneven skin tone and um, hyperpigmentation, this mask ruled. Thank you for watching. My name is Valerie Vanity. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Valerie Vanity or on Instagram, the Valerie Vanity. You can also find more beauty reviews and tutorials on my blog, www.valerievanity.com.